everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, today in the studio, I'm just going to do a little organizing. I, Brian and I put up a pegboard last year, and I've never really gotten it organized. I've been on Pinterest scouring for ideas for pegboard organization, and I grabbed a couple ideas that I like. So I'm going to try them out, and we'll just see what happens. So here's the pegboard. It's quite a mess. I really don't know what I should put over here. I mean, I suppose it should pertain to the items over here, I guess, but there's not a lot that really goes with these machines. Um, but it's a mess. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of hooks that go for pegboard. Um, some wood. I found a couple of neat shelf ideas on Pinterest, and this board actually was from a, um, Oh gosh, what's that game you play out in the yard with the ball, wooden balls and the sticks? I don't know. But this was the rack from that. And I've got little wooden legs that I've cut off of other items. Hooks. I've got some screws. I saw a neat thing with tin cans and zip ties although i can't find my zip ties right now so we might just be using old electrical wire that i have left over copper wire but eh, let's see what we can come up with maybe make it a little bit cleaner thing I do know that I need over here are the belts to my belt sander. And I kind of like to have them on a longer pole than what they were on. So I'm going to see what I can come up with using the handles from the um, oh, croquet, I think. That game. <laughs> I'm going to cut these off a little bit, but it would be nice to have a, a longer arm out here for those belts to hang on. So I'm going to cut these down real quick and see what we can do. take this coat hanger because I can't find my zip ties. But we're going to do the little can trick that I saw on Pinterest. I think I can just do it with the coat hanger wire. Let's see. I'm going to cut it about there. Okay, this is going to take me more than a day, so I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Um, what I'm really liking are the shelves that I've made, and this is something I saw on Pinterest, 
and you just use the pegboard hooks and drill holes into the wood and they're just and I bent them a little bit straighter than what they were you just pop them into the holes and then you've got a shelf Let's, let me lower that down shelf I like that because I can put this extra tumbler right up there and then the piece of board that I had from the croquet set I was going to do the same thing, but I found these hooks that were also pegboard hooks that ended up working perfect. Just a little J-hook, but there were already these holes in the top, so I've just hooked it in. That makes a great shelf. So that might be an easier way to make a shelf, just drill holes through the top rather than trying to do it like this little one and going in through the side. Oops, now I can't get it back in. There we go. But I, I'm thinking I need more shelves like this more than anything rather than the peg hooks. Because I've got a lot of things that are just bigger in bottles that could set on shelves. I love the tin can idea. I'm definitely going to start saving some tin cans. And again, zip ties would be really easy to just weave through the pegboard and around the can, but I didn't have any, so I used a coat hanger wire and just twisted it and then bent it up like hooks. But I really like this. I think that's a really good idea. There it is, a little better view in the shelves. So the idea that I was trying with putting the screw into this and then into an anchor didn't work very well. I messed with that for way too long. This one's pretty strong, but I had better luck with this other little foot that I have and just doing like the shelf, drilling a hole and then putting a peg hook into it. And then I even have these little, I don't know what they are, but they, they're part of the peg hook system. But it just helps anchor it into the wall. It just goes around the hook and then into the holes on each side. snap in. And that's a pretty secure hook. And it's just a nicer looking hook than the wire and, and a little more bulk, which is kind of what I wanted with these. I didn't want just a wire hook. I wanted a little more roundness to it so that those belts don't get a real narrow kink in them. Again, just stuff I had around the basement. But this is going to take a while. <laughs> I've kind of just made more of a mess in my studio this week, so I'm going to have to get back to it tomorrow and try to finish this up. But just I've had these little ideas pinned on Pinterest for a couple of years now and been wanting to try. So I definitely like the little shelf idea and the tin can. So the idea with the wall anchors and screwing things in worked pretty well with this piece where I'm just putting them right into the wall rather than how I was thinking I could have that peg sticking off of it. But this worked out.
bigger mess now. <laughs> but maybe that gives you some ideas if you have pegboard in your studio and you need to organize it. Like I said, I do like the little tin can idea and the shelf idea quite a bit. So I'm definitely going to make some more of those. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next week.